Okay, so this video is about the effects of PTG or acetone on PTG. And we have here a little container I made for to assist in, va in vapor smoothing. And let me turn my light over here, actually. As you can see, that has a really nice sort of shine to it right there. It came out quite nicely. Now, I've used this particular one and a few others many times and haven't seen any effects of acetone. Oh, they've had some vapor on it at all, so it works out pretty well. But I also decided to try, you know, since it's got a container design to it, and it, you can hear it's pretty much almost airtight because of the clearances I used on it. I wanted to use this also to clean parts like hot end parts, nozzles, you know, sometimes you get plastic on them. So, I, let's see, here's the result of putting some acetone in one of these containers and leaving it in there for about five days. And the end result was uh, the acetone, of course, got out. And you can see how cloudy it's become. You can also see this bulged out spot. I mean, I did this experiment weeks ago. So this is, you know, it's, it's not returned to its regular strength at all. You can bend this very easily with, it's almost like rubber now. The lid of it here, I mean, these were fused together almost, pretty much. And now it fits on very loosely, so that's either expanded or something. And this lid became very brittle, as you can see it kind of kind of broke right here, if I can get it to focus. Uh, we have a chip there, some stress marks right there. The inside is actually pretty smooth. Now I thought this was still rough from the acetone not affecting it, but it's because uh, the entire inside surface is right in here. See, so that wouldn't have affected that lid too much on the inside rim here. But this is really smooth now. And this is pretty smooth on the inside here, except for the seam line, which is right there. You can probably just barely see that seam. If this will ever focus. Focus. There we go. Seam line right there. That's also where it's bulging out. And I can't remember if I did any any sanding on this at all. I think I did a little bit of it before that, but it's super smooth in here, but it's also compromised, so that's a problem. So yeah, now this is Gizmo Ducks brand uh, filament, and let's see, I've got another container of this in my kitchen that's got a little bit of water in it, and I've had it in there for almost a month now, and very little water has evaporated from it, so it's pretty well sealed. I don't plan on drinking any of it or anything like that because it takes a lot of steps to make uh, 3D prints food safe, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah, at least for Gizmo Ducks brand filament of PUTG, it is affected by acetone. I left it in there for about five days and I don't know how long you'd have to leave something like this in a vapor chamber to have it be affected by it, but uh, considering it affects the uh, strength of the material and it has other effects, uh, you might have to experiment to get some good results from it, but yeah, I'm guessing the acetone just either displaces the PTG somehow or just affects it some other way. I'm not a chemist, so I can't tell you. Anyway, that's it.